What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do a traditional... Look at this. What's this? We are going to tr do a traditional core set draft here on the Early Access Magic 2020 uh, streamer, streamer Early Access event. I don't know which of those words I repeated. This is a sponsored stream by Wizards of the Coast. Thank you so much for the invite. Really appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. And I will purchase this item and I will start this draft. Oh, look at this. Tails end, probably not as good in limited. I also have some applesauce here, guys. Mm. Stay. One one pro red counter spell that targets you. Draw a card, then discard a card. Four three destroy creature that was still damage to turn. This guy actually seems great. Ah, oh, the old MTGO looks different meme. Come on, Daddy Cube, you're better than that. You are better than that, my friend. Silverback Shaman, 5 4 for 5, that draws you a card when it dies. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, Daddy Cube with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Even though your joke is not good. Not good. Clothingless shaman. Why does this guy not have? I feel like if you're gonna learn uh, shamanism, mysticism, whatever you want to call it, that you probably are advanced enough to wear clothing. That's just how I feel. I feel like if you're not wearing clothing, you're probably not advanced enough to learn shamanic ways. I'm gonna take this four three. This two, this dual colored four three deals two damage each creature. Except for creatures you control with flying. That's interesting. Probably still pretty good. Yeah, we can take that. There's a big and tall in the <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. Oh, you guys. What is Vengeful Orchie? 4 4 for 5. Whenever you lose life, put a counter. Yeah, that, that guy seems good. Okay, take it easy, Chief. Yeah, plus three, plus two is a nice trick. Eternal Isolation is good. Could just be Sorcerer of the Fang. I do like having... Uh, this guy survives Flame Sweep, and it um, has a nice late game ability. Don't hate this gorilla because they love their body, and you don't. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we'll just take Reduce to Ash. Ashes. Reduce to Ashes. Wow, two Eternal Isolations, huh? Bone Splinters seems like gas. Thought Distortion. Reels all non-creature non land cards and you remove them. I don't think that's great in Limited. Uh, Heart Piercer Bow could be fine. Whatever, it's not great, but it's that pack was not... Oh, wow, third Eternal Isolation. That's totally normal. Totally normal. I'll just take that, man. <laughs> it's very good. Baloney Vampire. And Fire Elemental, just take the 3-2, I guess. Unholy Indenture is fine. It's not great. Trail Abomination's playable card. Leyline of the Void. I just brought up a Yarok value deck. Where can I post it? You can post it right here in the chat. Right here in the chatty chat chat. Undead Servant. We only have one. Lavakin Brawler for an effort. Eh. I think it's just shock here. Ember Hauler? 
I was I thought this was Meteor Golem for a second. I got excited. It's probably just Ember Hauler. Or Murder, actually. It's definitely Murder, not Ember Hauler. That's not really close. Uh, ooh, Blood Soaked Altar seems very strong. Especially if we can get a bunch of Dirtles to sacrifice easily. Yeah, we're taking that. We're going to try this Blood Soaked Altar. What's the activation cost? Nothing. Good. Excellent. I like a Blood Burglar. And reduce the ash. I can see. Yeah, it seems fine. I wish this was a, an instant, but you know it's still good. Now we can take a shock. This deck seems very good so far. I love how I watched three people doing a preview, and all the opinions are all the different. What are the different opinions? I would love to hear them. I'm going to take this guy because if we can get another one, yep, and we can, apparently. And then we can get another one, apparently. And then we can get another one, apparently. <laughs> Does it make 2-2 two -two for each? Oh, that could be good, man. How many undead servants can we get? Four. In a row. <laughs> okay, I'll play all four of those if we, if we, uh... So far, I heard that Alter Eastern Epic was the worst card in the set, and another was its play what, the one that makes 5-5 five, five Flyers. Interesting. I would love to know who said it was bad. So then I can either be like, oh, wow, it's probably terrible based on who it is, or wow, that person is terrible. Locks it on Life Chanter. This guy's good. This pack is rough. I guess we could just take another Undead Servant. Uh, I can't imagine we're going to play other four drops. Maybe the Siege Breaker, but I think we're just going to take the Sir. It's not Scorched Spitter, so. Let's say it was a new player who only played for a year. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, because if you're discarding a land and getting rid of a 2-2 to put a 5-5 Flyer into play, like, you're doing just fine. Audacious Thief is fantastic. All right, we're now at 23 cards. Duress can go. Hard Piercer Bow can go. Burning Vampire, you're a pretty mediocre three drop. I think it's just Blood Burglar. I want the life. The two, two, the two life is very relevant if we're, if we're trying to play towards Altar. Oh, Vampire of the Dire Moon seems fantastic. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. Uncaged Fury definitely can just win games, for sure. Uh, I'm taking another Audacious Thief. Like, this card's just great. I'd, I'd like another Vengeful Warchief, but we're already pretty high up on the curve. Although this guy could be really good. It's each turn, it's not even just your turn? Man. I think it's just Thief. I just want more early cards. Is six undead servants too many? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just take a two drop here. I'm not gonna play Pestermite. Prismite, not Pestermite. <laughs> oh, Dragon Mage. That's interesting. Did you want second bone splinters? Probably. Did you want third bone splinters? Probably. Actually, bone splinters is a lot better with undead servants that you can just keep getting. Uncaged Fury comes back. I'm going to take this Baroni Vampire out because you're pretty pretty trash. How many creatures are we looking at so far? I guess I, I can't tell. That's sad. All 
All right, let's see what happens here. We gotta make one. Gotta make one cut here. Probably unholy indenture. Actually, flame sweep might not be great. We can board flame sweep in, and we can play something else. Can you tell me now how many creatures I have? I just want to know. Oh, okay, we could click on that thing. 14? Okay. Huh. This could be alright with the Undead Servants. It's a lot of four drops, though. I'm trying to avoid uh, this glut on four drops with seven four drops. I'd like another two or three drop here. It's probably just Baroni Vampire. I don't love it. It's not great, but it does. Unholy Indenture can steal an opponent's creature. Is that true? Where did my drafts go? Oh, it does. Interesting. Future you will not regret the $55 spent when looking back at the amazing year you spent in the chat mics. What's going on? I renewed the gift sub you gave me a month ago. That's that that's thanks for losing me 55 for the rest of the 55? How does that work? Cause the whole year? Goalie, math is hard, buddy. I'll keep this. We can the the, the thing we want uh, to do is make sure we have mana to play our undead undead servants, right? So They're going to go main first turn, like, Ley Line of the Void. Ooh. Wow, look at this. Fascinating. All right, if we can just draw Undead Servants off the top. You can only use exactly four words to provide your opinion, no more, no less. Hot take on M20. Set seems like gas. Is that a hot take? I don't know. Can I draw fewer lands? I don't know. Oh, the old color wheel. That's a classic. Uh-oh. Is that Vigilance? God, Vigilance too. They didn't want to block. They were like, no way, buddy. I'm not trading for your baloney vampire. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I don't know what a hot take is either. People's like, who's a hot take? And I'm like, is that a controversial take? Is it an unpopular take? I don't understand what you're saying right now. You spent four mana for that thing? Buddy? Buddy? 
Okay, that's enough lands. Seven lands, four spells is not where I really want to be. I'm fresh out the kitchen. I'm gonna eat both these chickens. Gonna unleash my fury. Got him. There it is. Nailed it. We're gonna hold on to the swamp because we have altar in hand or in our deck, so I don't wanna be like, hey, I drew my altar and I have nothing to discard, so I'll just hold on to a swamp and then we have something to discard. Rip six straight undead servants off the top. That's the goal, my dude. That's the dream we're trying to live here. What? Butter my biscuits. So we got seven mana, so we can play five, and then I can't play Audacious Thief. Well. Do you take six? I heard there's a new food trend where people eat a whole deep fried onion. Is that a new food trend? I feel like that food trend is like 15 years old. No, it's gotta be older than that, right? They had the blooming onion back in like 2000, man. They've been, they've been deep frying onions for 30 years. What'd they do? Where'd my creature go? No. Whatever. Whatever. Blooming onions are delicious, you friggin' savage. Get it together. Blooming onions are like the best. I don't even need a sideboard. Our deck is good. Changes are locked after submission. Your deck will n is not updated until submit. I, I said done. I want to meet the man who invented applesauce. That dude changed my life. Why is the A in Dark and Stormy capitalized? The D and the A are capitalized. Remember that means something. Crispy McApple Saucerian at your service. Maybe, wow, I would like to meet the human being that invented applesauce. That was not meant to be, uh, that was not meant to make an assumption. That was just... Any M20 cards you're excited to try and construct? Yeah, like tons of them. Went over a bunch of them in the uh, in the set review yesterday that I did with Rob.
Here we here we go. M20 Calia. Ooh. Emancipation Angel. Is that even legal? Did you make this up? I don't think this is standard legal. Is it standard legal? There's no way this is standard legal, right? Oh, you're looking for Resplendent Angel. I was like, Emancipation Angel? I don't think so, buddy. I'll keep this seven. If we can draw some blacks, some blacks, blacks mana, we're good to go. Healer's Hawk. What is this Healer's Hawk doing in here? Okay, well, we remember we said we want a black mana. We drew a mountain, so that's cool. Anyone want to order Chinese? I'm going to pick it up. I'm in. Indeed, many of the first applesauce recipes were completed by adding meats. It was recommended to cook apples with fatty meats so the sharp apple flavor balanced out the get out of here. I just want regular... I just want some apples. Oh, come on, mountains. Just stop it. Any historic format? That, no, I have no interest in historic whatsoever. There's way too many formats to focus on. Historic. Historic is what? Just like... Like, until standard rotates, historic isn't even a format, right? Like... Because there's just... M20 adds, enters the format, and then every legal set is already standard. So the only time Historic is even Historic is when the set after M20 comes out. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. Alright, so now we have a 4-drop. We have multiple 4-drops. Drops. Pss, pss. I see you're not appreciating applesauce. I'm appreciating them. I'm just not agreeing with them. They're they're different. I think the fact itself is great. That guy did a little boop. So, oh, undead servant dot deck up in here. I mean, if they want to double block, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I also think historic is the as the name of a format and the name of a. Come on, Swamp, please. Please, Swamp. Can a dude get a Swamp? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, boy. Another fun fact about applesauce, astronaut John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, took with him tubes of applesauce for his revolutionary journey through space. Why, you might ask? Because of applesauce's positive effects on the digestive process. At the time, it was unclear how the body would react to consuming food in space, so applesauce was the best choice. Wow. What a time to be alive. They have three cards, they didn't play anything, and they have six mana. Interesting. You know the problem with um dislike dislike
the problem with undead servant is that they never go to the graveyard, so. Shut up and take my money. U.S. Apple Association. Hi, Frank. U.S. Apple Association here. We heard you're interested in more applesauce and apple-related facts. Please visit the link below for some fun facts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We appreciate you sharing the word on how great apples are. Keep it up. USApple.org news. Oh, just come in another guy, you team, blow out your team. That was good. Undead Servant would be good here. Yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Seven power. This is basically Grave Titan. See, when you have seven undead servants, you're good. You're good to go. In some countries, applesauce is served as a dessert and it can be used as an ingredient in other foods like cake as a flavoring or sweetener. Nice. Yeah, this would be the prediction from Red Effect, I would imagine. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack here. Boom boom boom. Undead servant number two. Oh my god, dude. Oh, undead servant going to the graveyard. Oh yeah, put this guy in the front. Buddy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Undead servant dot dick. Oh man. Killing it. Just killing it. Seems good. I'd be mad at this point. <laughs> uh, I'd like to play my fourth undead servant. It will bring three zombies to the yard. Oh yes, I will keep any hand that has a resilient one drop and two undead servants. God, he's just going to keep top-decking undead servants, isn't he? Apples are America's second favorite fruit. We consume over 19 pounds of whole apples per year. Per person, I imagine? And over 15 pounds of a combination of fresh apples and apple products, sauce, juice, and more. It's a close second to the banana. We eat an average of 28 pounds of them a year. Wow! Um... No attack. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So the reason I put Healer's Hawk in there was that they have an early flyer to help power. Yeah, I heard I heard you. I definitely don't. That said, I definitely don't love it. What does this cat do? That's fine. Getting a card out of this guy is pretty unreal. 
And I might even just want to kill this with... What? You're just going to let it go through? I just get to draw an extra card every turn? Get out of here. Might have actually wanted to lead with Undead Servant instead. It's worse value because it's a 3-2 instead of a 4-3. But getting them into the graveyard faster could be better. Okay, you got it. New set's been pretty sweet so far. I'm okay with it. I mean, we can actually just let this guy live and then just... Oh my god, I don't understand this. This is insane. I feel like you never want to be the, the first the first undead servant, right? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I feel like just being the first blood servant is just like... Or the undead servant, you're just like, all right, I guess I'll be that dude. Okay. That was a three for one, man. We drew two cards off of it and they wasted a removal spell. That is totally fine. Man, everyone playing this against me is hilarious because I'm just like, all right, I'll kill your, your, your four drop with a shock. Here we go. Thank you, Alistair Kane. Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Hope you're loving. Hope you're loving Utah. Okay. Well. Oh, you know what else is great about the altar? We can discard Undead Servants. Oh, Goldie gifted a sub to Alistair Kane. It's hot now. I don't like it. Yeah, well, same with Florida. Same with Florida. I think you can get the Battle Pass Kitty in the Gem Store on the free account. Opponent has one. Yeah, I've seen this. the second one I've seen. At least the second one I've seen. There's an eyelash on my face. I don't even want to play a second Undead Servant. I will, because I have another one. So even if they both die, like... Oh yeah, we can actually discard an Undead Servant and sacrifice an Undead Servant. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Huh. Now I wish I actually kept up the... I wish I played the swamp. I guess it doesn't matter. It's murder. Oh, they have God's willing. Oh, God. U.S. Apple Association. Yep, of course they do. Why wouldn't you? We are so impressed with you and your chat's enthusiasm for apples. U.S. Apple is a member of... A member-driven association that represents all segments of the Apple industry. Check out the link to become a member today. Wow. Wow. Well, no attacks here. God's willing is a hell of a drug. Cringing so hard right now. Here comes in before three damage. Yep. Let me guess, this is an elemental? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? God, my kingdom for a shock right now. Oh, that'll do. Someone 
Someone's getting a little sweaty. This looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. You got it. I have one card? That's okay, that's fine. Uh, she, negative three to sweep the board. So she can do it twice when she's cast because she starts at six. Keep in mind, this is the game where they let us draw two free cards off of the... Uh... Yeah, cool. How do you feel the, t the Cavalier Cycle compares to the Titan Cycle? It does not compare in any way, shape, or form. Billy with the resub. Thank you so much. 15 in the bag. Many more to go. Super stoked about the early access. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yes, duress seems very good with God's Willing and with Chandra. Yikes. Another yikes for me. Um, well, I mean, they only had three sweepers in the deck. They had Flame Sweep and Double Chandra, so... I also might like Thought Distortion. The other hand, exile on non-creature and on land cards. That actually seems not terrible here. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a keeper, you know. JK, I love Bert. <laughs> I want to make some stickers. I'm going to make some I love Bert stickers. He's overly paranoid about power creep. Yeah, powerful cards can overform it, but if they're just a variety of powerful cards, they're gonna be. Yeah, like Cube, for example. I mean, I'm gonna assume they have it, and I'm gonna play both of these guys out, because if they don't, it's great. And I can't not play another creature just because they might have wiped the board, but. You know. They're trying to consider whether they do it now, or whether they wait until our turn, where we could potentially have a trick make it less effective. They said we'll wait. <clears throat> okay, well that's pretty good. 4-3 survives the 2 damage to all creatures, so that's nice. Guy's so good. I feel like we're pretty far ahead here. I don't know. Let's thought distortion next turn. Codine, what's going on? Wow, this is all this is very rude what you're doing. When I come back. 
<laughs> See you later, Chandra. You have three... Why aren't you playing any of these creatures? Mr. Armbars. Good games, buddy. Good games. We're not going to be able to play anything else this turn anyway, so there's no point in um, playing that playing murder over this. I'd rather spend the expensive spell that's more limited than the more versatile spell. Fascinating. I mean, paying six mana for this just to get rid of a Chandra, actually totally fine. Murder and Shock would have won the game. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a good call. I'm not paying attention to that, guys. That's aggressive. That's an, that's an out. Well, we also don't know what they have. If they have God's Willing, then it's a bad plan. Like, we saw God's Willing already, so, like, there's no reason to... This might have been bad, because if they just top deck the Sweeper, then we're just a stupid... Okay. Yeah, our deck is sweet when we don't get Plague Wind three times. Also, guys, definitely check out Rob's GoFundMe. The link is in the in the chat right now. Uh, Rob is a coach for a softball team of eight to ten year old girls, and uh, they just won their sectionals. And now they're 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 traveling for the next game this week, and they're looking to get some money raised so they can afford lodging, so they can afford travel, food, all kinds of things. Uh, they have to travel about three hours away, so they're just trying to generate some support. So they can do it. So they can do that, and uh, it's a super cool cause. So definitely check out that link. This is still fine. We need some lands here, but we're good at that. Oh, we drew the altar, guys? Come on. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're living the dream. The altar dream. Whatever that means. <laughs> Chandra's Ember Cat could have been cool for our elemental deck, right? We have tons of Chandra's and we have tons of elementals. Huh. That's fascinating. I mean, we're probably bone splintering that, right? Let's 
two for two. Plus, I haven't seen a ton of creatures, a ton of creatures that I really care about in their deck. I'm mostly concerned about the Flame Wipe and the Chandra. All right. In before Flame Wipe my board. They didn't do it? All right, cool. Sweet. Look at all these dual lands. Wow, what a... What an amazing... What a time to be alive. All right, now I'm going to just force you to do it. But they're just going to have... They're just going to untap play Chandra, right? Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada here. Happy Canada Day to Frank and all the Canadian followers on this fine channel. Especially Kerwit, Frank's imaginary friend. <laughs> so random. What does that even mean? Oh, my God. Why Justin Trudeau? That's so random. Was there any Canadian reference in the chat whatsoever? What colors is your elemental Chandra? It was, uh, we just played an elemental deck previously and it was Teamer. It's gotta be Teamer, right? It's Canada Day today? Happy Canada Day to everyone in Canada. You guys are awesome. I love, I love all you guys. All you, all you ladies, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> what is this, a twofer? What's a twofer? Uh, so they block here, most likely. But, if we draw, like, a murder off the top, we can just kill this idiot? What do you think about that? Murder off the top? Can we do that? It's a mountain, guys. It's a mountain. This is the block, right? They still take five, they go to nine. Totally fine. Totes fine. <laughs> Donated to the baseballers. Nice. You guys are awesome. Nice. It's for a good cause. Also, you get sweet pics of Rob in that in that GoFundMe link, so you guys can check out Rob and all his... God, four life is so much life. In honor of our Canadian friends, where we had Hungry Howie's, only serve the finest apples in our applesauce and dye it to a natural red with natural red apple chemicals. Wow, that's... That's something. I wonder if this just trades here. I wonder if we don't care and we just oh we have to discard a card too. There's a lot of there's a lot of costs here, but five five demons every turn are are a lot. They take the red from red apples and add it to the green apples. Dear God. Dear God. <sighs> so what do they do? They see everything trades we're like we lose one creature in this trade. Or we lose two, but they lose at least one, so. Thoughts on Daybreak Chapel and Splash? What does that mean? I do not understand. Sam. I don't feel the apple love in this chat. It's almost like only Frank is interested in apples. That might be true, guys. Guys, can we get some apple love in the chat, please? 
How many of these? Is that your third one? No, this is, I guess this is a different game. God. Come at me, bro. I dare you. Of course the red god loves apples. Hey Frank, do you know where Captain Hook got his hook? You mean like where he bought it? Because that I don't know. Johnny Appleseed donated a dollar. I hear someone is trying to hone in on my racket. Find another fruit to love. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. I will sack this guy. And discard this guy. Let's make another zomb another another demon. I don't know, man. Making 5-5 five, five demons every turn seems pretty good. Cool, you're dead. Get ready to meet my flames. You're dead, right? Oh, wait, you get to neg? She like neg five? You get to neg five here, and then I get to just... You have to block? Yeah, that seems fine. So no matter what we draw, we just get to make a zombie. We get to transform this into a, a demon, rather. Well, you did. You did finish it. Huh. Seems good. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Chandra's if do 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 Running out of resources here, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're doing okay. We got it. Hope it's not too hot for you. No blocks. I don't know what you could have. You got one card in hand. So I'm going to assume nothing. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's take a gander. Okay. Ever get into the Battletech MechWare universe at all? Um... A little bit back in the day, but not enough to like have any sort of commentary on it. I'm good at what I do, and what I do is win. Is she quoting Wolverine? <laughs> is that a Wolverine quote? I'm the best at what I do. I will play first. Yeah, okay. Seems fine. Look at this look at this little cutie with his little his little art no attacks our guy is so much better than theirs
Are we going to see Spider-Man Thursday? I'm already seeing Spider-Man tomorrow. Can I not... Can I not block? Okay, I was like, why can't I block here? <clears throat> I assume this guy's getting shocked, but... Oh, just this card again. This card again, every game. Now I'm wishing I played this guy last turn, so then we'd have a, a better follow-up here. This is a cute little blue-red tempo deck they got here. I think we're dead, right? They just pumped this guy at 6 damage by itself. I guess we can play this. I don't think it's great. We can also play this discard and sacrifice. We go to 6. Six one, huh? Well, we can't activate our blood soaked altar anymore. Undead servant and not a land. That's good too, I guess. All right, well. Oh, well that's lethal. That's not going to do it. Let's have a little fun with it, I guess. Resolve. Pass the attackers. Do you want to target this? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. He's like, I'll embrace the meme. I'll pump it for you. Nice. We have a good time. Oh, uh, yeah, a bunch of little nerdle, nerdle creatures. Flame sweep seems okay. Yeah, we'll bring in the flame sweep here. We'll take out the uncaged fury. Actually, heart pierce are both seems very good. A bunch of all their two, their two ones. And one twos. Might be better than Flame Sweep. Flame Sweep kills a lot of our guys, which is a big problem. Take out the altar, maybe? Bring in maybe duress, because they do have a, a, a quite a quite a few tricks. Shock seems good here.
aggressive. Give me that two life back. Very good. And I don't think you saw any of those. All right. Well, that's one. One down. Oof, that's a good one. No cards in hand? Oh, yeah, we're way ahead right now. Oh, you're just gonna bounce this dude. Hmm. Well, that is something, isn't it? I feel like they should be at less than 12, but what do I know? Oh, give me that trigger. So many Metropolis sprites. Attack for four. So if we can draw any creature here, we can bone splitters and probably win. Now they have one blocker and they block here and they take six. Yeah, also Flame Soup is worse when they have as many Metropolis sprites as they do. Flame Soup hits their flyers, just not ours? I thought it was creatures without flying. Oh, that's much better. Well, this is why it's early access, guys. It's hard to it's hard to know what all these cards do. I feel like Rob for a second. Oh my god, that card's insane! That's so much better than I thought. very good this is why they're like are you sure once you submit you can't go back all right i will keep seven seven i thoroughly enjoyed this series i'm glad to hear it man glad to hear it Oh, why did I play this first? What an idiot. What an absolute boner. Has shock in hand. Plays. See what happens? Like, chat, and you're, you're streaming, and you're trying to be entertaining, and you got the chat going. Magic's hard, man. Streaming is hard. Whoa, why would you tap? 
Why would you use red for that? I guess because we have bone splitters in hand. God, I hope they don't have any tricks. I don't think we've seen any tricks, so. Sure. Oh my god, can you imagine if we had the flame the flame sweeper here? Instead of the bow? Past the blockers. Okay, well, they're not gonna pump, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Me. So, it goes one image target creature defending player controls. I'm just gonna eat that guy, that seems good. I mean, I'm tempted at Bone Splinters here, but... Meh. We'll just take four if they wanna. But we get to eat that guy too? I don't understand what's happening right now. Oh, they did not pump either. Fascinating. They have no cards in hand? Okay, well, that's good. That's nice. Gain that extra life. Three life a turn now, guys. Maniacal Rage. Oh, no, just that. Okay. I kind of want the lifelink, I'll be honest with you. Oh, the, the bow deals the damage, so we didn't make it the third point. We just get two, which is fine, I think. Well, I think we're 3 0. Seems good. I'm a fan of winning games of Magic. Can't bet Bospeth. I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying, Walladil. <laughs> I have no idea what that even means. The capitals. Ooh, I got a nice thank you note from Rob Mike for donating to Baseball Mike. <laughs> Yes, I will keep this hand. This time we're going to lead with the mountain because it lets us play this shock. It's murder. Protection from white. This is basically a Danto Vanguard, right? It's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, a little fairy mystic. Are you gonna play another one? Oh my god, of course you are. Can't beat Elspeth, but with bows. <laughs> okay, I feel you. 
This guy's like a fair miscreant every turn. Well, that's obnoxious. Still fine. I got undead servants for days. I like this stream event. Have they done this before? Yeah, they like almost every other set, I think. Which someone already answered, so. What is this thing? Create two treasures. How how rapacious. What a scamp. See you later, bye. Wow, this is Fairy Miscreant Dot Deck over here. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, the Flame Sweep card seems a lot better now that I know it never kills your flyers. And it does kill their flyers. We all live under a rock if you consider that we're under the moon at night. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Oh, good. Gravedigger. What a combo. Unfortunately, I exiled the other dude, so now you just get to get one of these dudes back. I wonder if they realize that. Get out of here. You're going you're gonna to get hurt. Oh, boy. This is an efficient turn. Man, so you just play this guy, you kill our blocker, and then you attack for a three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to get it down to five, but still... Hmm. I'm actually going to block here because we're not going to get the lifelink. They're probably just going to kill it. So I'd rather just have them with three one ones on the board. Yeah, no one ever blocks the undead servant. It's pretty unbelievable. Ooh, that guy's nice. So they can just block and shoot us, puts us to six. I don't want you to block, just to be clear. I don't, I didn't want you to do that. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. What? <laughs> oh my god, come on, man. Wait, is this like a simplified, like... Why is this so simplified? Where are my other options? Oh my god, dude. Ugh. I don't have to go full control. I shouldn't have to do that. It's never been like that. This has always been up. This has always been up whether you're in full control or not. Wow, that's so bad. Like, that's probably going to cost us the game. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, well, things change, Grandpa. Dang it. Oh my god, flyers.deck. We're definitely boarding in. Like, it kills every one of their creatures. It's unbelievably good. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah, it might just be a settings issue. I don't know. All right, flame sweep for days. Hard piercer bow for days. Let's take out... The burglars are good because they gain us life. We can take out this baloney vampire and the uncaged fury. I saw one drop in shock and I'm like, I'm in. I'm about to buy a onesie from Andy's because I'm a fucking adult and no one can stop me. That's a good reason. That's a good reason. I just got an agreement from a second streamer to play the mono white Slumity deck on MTGO as well. My ultimate goal is to have an entire day of Legacy where all streamers unknowingly are playing the same deck. It's not financially my best idea, but it will be hilarious. Stay tuned as I wrap the meta, warp the meta of Legacy. Everybody get your solemnities now. Solemnity now! Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this value play. All right, all we want is lands from for the next two, two, three turns. Two turns. That's not a land. You might say it's the opposite of land if there are only two objects in magic and their lands and cards, other spells. The great thing about having ground creatures when all your opponent's creatures fly is that you can just attack. And you know they're not going to block. Because, and you can't block, so. Undead Servants are, are on fleek right now. Yep. If I had another land, I could Bone Splinters this guy and then play another Undead Servant for more power, but now we get to do one thing this turn instead, so... That's fun times. And they only have six power on board, so... 
That's all. One, two, three, four. Like, if we kill one of these guys, we don't add power to the board, but we do... They're just going to play Frost Links, and then we're just going to be dead, right? I think we're... Like, this game's over. I'm watching a stream, you said draw frost links, and he did. Wow, that's insane. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Yeah, this hand seems good. I've got MP by the numbers. Wow, this is a lot of undead servants, guys. Tug's a giant spider. We got a lot of birds here, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that is a lot of servants. attacks because of your 2-5. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is like the, uh, I think this is top tier undead servant territory. Oh, they're getting in there with this? Wow, that's aggressive. Jesus. Cause I've got heartache by the numbers. One thing we can do is actually shoot this guy and then kill it with this, which is pretty good. Might need to be done. Oh, boy. That's 
That's actually pretty good. That puts us in a decent position. Double blue. That's what they're waiting for. Now they can play their rare. Really? Insta block. Oof. Joke's on you, buddy. I got servants for days. Okay. Ironically, we don't even want to attack with this guy because I don't want to go to three. Is that ironic? I don't know, maybe. Alright, so I guess if they can't deal us two extra points here, we're good. Turns out they can deal us two extra points, guys. How many will there be the time mom and dad get home? What does that even mean? Who's mom and dad? Alright, well. So basically, any deck that has 35 flyers in it, we have a hard time dealing with. This seems like a fun format, where you're just like, oh. You have all the flyers. That's cool. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, yeah. The 3-2 Gobo is a flyer on your turn. Yeah, that's not really doing what I wanted to do. That's not really doing what I wanted to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. these guys.
Shock your bird. Put your bird in the garbage. If you regain life, you gain that much life plus one. Okay. Whatever, nerd. Solid. I guess we'll play this, huh? Hey, I guess we'll play this, huh? We don't really have the resources for this currently, but if we can get one of the uh, one of them thieves, one of them thievy boys that that draws us the crads, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that guy's good. Hey, we drew the thief. Look at that. God, we're so good at this game. Okay, so I guess they're going to draw a card here. Oh, boy. Always draw more cards is right. Unless... It's my opponent, in which case, stop drawing cards. I kind of just want to kill this guy, because otherwise they untap and draw another card. Like, I don't, I don't need this guy gumming up my life. But, wait, then we can start activating this guy. Ooh. Ooh-wee. Yeah, we're just going to end the turn. If you want to spend that much money on Just got out of Peyton's... <coughs> <coughs> Just got out of Peyton's lessons and heading to practice, but wanted to say you guys are amazing. The GoFundMe timeline is filled with comments about Swole Mike, and damn it, I love you all. You're amazing. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Swole Mike is a good dude. Swole Mike needs our help. Hunter Tina believes in the little one's dreams. They're going to be like, who's Swole Mike? Who is this? Hmm. Can this guy block alone? Oh, he can't, I can't, he can't block alone either? Dang. Oh my god, so many thieves. So we're going to play this fat daddy. You got it. Make a 5-5 five five or kill this guy? We got 7 mana? Yeah, we're going to kill this guy. Chief before attacks. Oh, because of this guy? I wasn't sure what we were doing, so I wanted to see what they did. Could have been chief or thief, you know? Sometimes you don't know which one you're doing. How many we got? One? Okay. I mean, I'm fine with this guy trading with anybody, so... Yes, excellent. Trade, trade. <clears throat> Just taking it, huh? Okay. Uh, do not tap all my black. Boop, 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 boop. 
And it might even be better to just discard Mountain and sacrifice Undead Servant to make a 5-5. Five five. Seems good. There's a ghost moving the green screen? Oh, God. That's a ghost dog. Okay. Well, now I can just sacrifice this guy. So, that ain't even scary at all. So, this guy's lethal? Hmm. Well, we're doing it. This is where they draw planar outburst. Planar cleansing, whatever that card's called. Nope, they conceded. I've got heartache by the numbers. Um, Heart Piercer Bow also doesn't seem bad. Alter was good that game, but I think we'd be fine without it. <clears throat> Wait, if it was American, wouldn't it be 365 24 7? I don't know. I just work here. Yeah, I like this hand. I wish we had a second black or a two drop. Mm, okay. All right, I'm on board. Oh, yeah, that thing is dead. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this hand's looking... Looking spicy. Spicy! What's that from? What's that spicy meme from? Spicy! What is that? Does anybody know? Draw two cards. Mm, Alright. Oh, look at that. How would you look at that? <coughs> Danny DB, welcome back. Our sub baby is a month old. Way to go, sub baby. Way to go. This guy is basically like, uh, like winged words only every turn, you know. You got it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll take one here and then we'll wipe the board. How's that sound? Pretty good. This is an instant? Actually, we don't even have to... We don't even have to... We can just wait. Oh, yeah, we're waiting. Unless sub-pregnancies are different to human, to human pregnancies. Um... They might be. That's true. The, the the period of gestation might be longer. Is that the word I want? Gestation? Oh, nope. Let's do this. <coughs> yep, that's pretty good. You can have your, your blank 3-3, three, three, my dude. Cause I've got heartache by the numbers. Bop bop boo doo doo. I wish I had one less land, but what can you do? <laughs> yep, that's a card, all right. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Sometimes you feel like you're like, hey, wow, I poured in this card, it was really good against you. I managed to navigate your entire, your entire, the entire game, uh, favorably, and then you just play seven seven flying lifelink angel, because rares are cool. Oh my god! And our one murder is in the graveyard. So, short of drawing, ash, ash to ashes, or bone to ash, or whatever the hell that stupid card is. Yeah, I don't really feel like this is gonna do us any favors here. Yep, that's pretty unbeatable. <clears throat> On my left side, how does it sound? Tilt's head to the right. Pretty good. Tilt's head back to the right. Thank you. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, look, you're just gonna... You're just gonna paralysis my guy. That's cool. I'm having a good time. Yep. All right. Well, we had a good, we fought a good fight. I think, I think it was a fun game where uh, both sides skillfully played their best, and you know the uh, person with the better rares won. So you know, what can you do? All right, three two now. <clears throat> Fantastic. If I could lose to fewer flyers, that would be really sweet. Uh, I don't. Okay. I just want to play my game. I just want to play my draft that I'm already in. Thank Wait. What? Oh. Oh, you only get two losses. That's right. I was like, can I just finish my draft? I guess we finished our draft. Uh, we lost to Flyers. So that was cool. Um, apparently, not only is Flyers an evasive creature type, it's also an entire archetype now. So keep that in mind when going into your uh, Corset 2020 drafts. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on uh, Patreon, on Manatraders.com. You can get 20% off at the first, the first three months with the link and promo code in the description. Check out CoolStuffInc.com. And uh, check out all the links. They're all in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.